Today we're going to take a look at this Landu filament. Uh, they reached out to me and wanted me to showcase their filament, so I thought I would. Like I said in my last filament testing video, I'm starting to get the hang of like what to do with these multicolor silks and stuff. So yeah, let's just kind of dive into that. But first, can I ask you guys to do something for me? I don't get a lot of engagement on my videos, and I know a lot of people are watching. Could you just say like hi in the comments or something? I'd really appreciate that. I'm going to be putting a lot more effort into these videos going forward. I have freed up a lot of time from my schedule and I'm going to start making something that's a bit better to watch, but I could really use that motivation of the comments. So I'd appreciate like a hi or how are you doing or whatever. Just that would be great. You get these multi colors here. This is the silk red, blue, green. And then this is the silk green blue. So let me slide these out of the way a little. We'll just leave them up here. Before we dive into that, I also wanted to talk about their uh, 3D adhesive. Now, I use a product that comes in a very hard squeeze bottle and you just put little drops on and you have to take a brush and you're brushing it across the plate and you just don't get even distribution. They asked if I wanted to take a look at their adhesive too. And I said, sure. And it comes in this like little spray bottle that's, you know, almost looks like medical grade. It's like pretty hard plastic and stuff, but it's a mist. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this. Yeah, you can't really see that on camera. At least I can't on the screen, but it is a very nice mist. So you can get real easy, even distribution. I think I did four or five squirts of this on the plate and it works as good, if not better than the stuff I had been using, which again comes in that hard plastic squeeze bottle with a little nylon brush on a metal stick and you've got to try to and it's just such a pain when i was using that elegu plate that really big one to print like that helmet that i've shown on the channel and stuff uh, this would have been so nice because i could have just spritz 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 and it just made my life so much easier instead i had to like meticulously do a grid of dots and then like i don't know did the brush soak it all up is it going everywhere this is just so easy just missed 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 like, yeah, this, this has an interesting smell too. Um, let me remind myself what it smells like. It, it smells like something that I can't place, but seems familiar. Um, that other glue just like kind of smells industrial. So yeah, check out the uh, Landu's 3D print platform adhesion spray. So far, I'm very happy with it. <clears throat> I need to try some like crazier stuff with it to make sure it's as good as the other, but I'm pretty confident it is. It, and it, it just washed right off real nice. Sometimes the other one uh, takes a lot more washing. This one might not get as many prints um, cause you're not putting it on as thick, but you know, you can just come back and spritz some more, clean your plate, whatever. First, I decided to make these little fun tank guys. And what I did is I printed the turret and base in one color, then the turret and base in another color, and then I switched the turrets. So you get a little bit of contrast there. Not as much as I would have hoped, but you kind of get the impression of what's going on there. I really like this guy. Um, if I remember, I'll link to his stuff. He has a Patreon actually, where he makes tons of these. He keeps some of them for free on Bamboo's uh, Maker. I can never remember the name of that Maker site. Someone, someone tell me in the comments, Maker Studio, something like that. But yeah, they came out really nice. I just ran these on my X1C and like, his stuff has mechanical action, so like the turret actually moves. Pretty fun. Those go to the nieces and nephews. So then I did do my eggs. So here is the, what were we calling it? The silk green blue. I like these eggs now. Well, I guess I didn't really clean it up. This egg is about the only thing I've ever seen that does that like spider web with the filament. But yeah, pretty cool. Nice little pattern. Set that there, bring these forward a little so you can see them while I'm talking. And then this one is the silk red, blue, green. Uh, you get some of the green there, the blue, that kind of pinkish, purplish color, pretty fun. Uh, I wish it was just the um, reddish, purplish, blue. I'm not too thrilled about the green there, but it works for something else that I'm gonna show you. So again, here is, I tried a different skeleton hand this time. Normally I do the bigger one that goes up, but for uh, saving filament and expediency sake, since we have a gajillion of these things, you know, came out pretty dang good. And I didn't calibrate this filament at all. This is just the generic fil um, silk filament settings in bamboo. And like everything came out great. Like 
there's a little bit of that spider webbing here too, but this is something you just clean up real quick and post process. And if you calibrated this for your printer, um, you know, spent a couple hours and a bunch of runs and, and really dialed it in, I think it would be amazing because it's it's already pretty great. And then here it is again in the uh, silk red, blue, green. Kind of has an interesting thing going on there. Like, I just, these skeleton hands are just so fun. It blows my mind that you print stuff in place and it's like articulated and works. And it's just, I don't know, I'll never understand it. I know it's just planning, but it is what it is. So, I like the channel Craftsman. I discovered him during um, the time right after the before times and he was pretty small and I was like oh this fuzzy little puppet is cool and I've been on his discord for years now and just really nice guy really fun content creator but these kind of remind me of the colors of his set of his background there it's actually his little set is my wallpaper on my uh, main computer that's how much I, <laughs> I I like his his stuff so I made this little statue of him this is a file that he sold I think he still does he's had it for years and, uh, you know, I just kind of printed it out. And, but then I wanted to see it at a different scale. So I made it a little bit smaller. He really comes out nice. I like those color transitions there. This was that uh, silk red, blue, green. And then just being silly, I only changed one dimension of measurement to make him short and squat. Because this is, this is more how I think of him. He's just this little fuzzy puppet guy, and he does some really cool crafts and makes some cool stuff. And I love the crafts, man. You should check them out. But yeah, that's been this land do. I, I didn't have any complaints with it. I didn't have any prints fail. Again, I didn't calibrate it. Everything turned out great. I think these look amazing. These little robot mech warrior things. And, you know, all of this is articulated, and it just works fine. Everything snapped together fine. You know, the hands came out great. These Craftsman, I was just so shocked when it came out. Basically his background color. And there you go, yeah. So that's Landu. I will have a link to all of this in the sticky comment. Uh, yeah, and again, if you could just say like hi in the comments or something, I would really appreciate that. I'll see you guys in the next video.